If a picture really is worth a thousand words, a Noonan couple wants to hear just two of them out loud. I'm sorry. Two photos they say they took of NFL quarterback Cam Newton went viral without their permission and with some major mistakes. Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis investigates how your social media pictures can be misused and finds out what you have to do to stop it. I was sitting in the passenger seat when that picture was taken. Ashley Nelson and Jason Castle say their brush with greatness lasted only a few seconds outside this Noonan racetrack gas station. On the last Sunday in June, Jason says he took two quick pictures of quarterback Cam Newton, local kid made good, who would soon announce he was signing with the New England Patriots. The hat kind of caught my attention when he got out of the car, so I knew that's who it had to be. Jason uploaded the two pictures to his Facebook page that day. They would get only 19 likes and one share. Jason's a Bulldog and Falcons fan after all. But the next week, those two pictures somehow appeared on a Patriots fan page with a completely different narrative. Cam Newton has arrived in Foxborough, Massachusetts just two half hours ago before he makes the official contract signing to be a member of the New England Patriots. A Twitter user named Boston Sports Mike posted the pictures on July 3rd, again announcing Cam Newton had arrived in Foxborough. He got nearly 4,000 retweets and more than 12,000 likes. Kind of goes back to how easy something that you post can be viral in hours and you not even really have any knowledge of it. The photos wound up on other sites. One reporter, they were pretty sure the photo showed Cam coming out of a pizza joint close to the stadium. ESPN even ran them, the network giving a photo credit to that Boston Sports Mike Twitter user and another man. For Jason and Ashley, who also had actual video before and after those cam photos in Noonan, the experience was eye-opening. Especially I think now and the hot thing with fake news and that you would just completely make up a story and share it without fact-checking it at all. They reached out to as many of the sites as possible, but say they got no response. Do you want money? No. Money. I mean, if there was something, we would. Of course, but money was not what we were after. We were after letting them know that you just can't take somebody's stuff and use somebody's stuff without permission. Is somebody in trouble here? In theory, whoever took the picture and copied it would be, but it would be really difficult to bring a lawsuit. The legal costs just aren't worth it, says Emory Law School's Tim Holbrook. You have an ownership right just by the creation of the work, but in order to enforce that right, I must register with the Copyright Office. It's simple to do, but how many of us would even take that step? Emery's Nicole Morris suggests a watermark on any photos you don't want stolen. Holbrook has another suggestion. If it's something you think is highly valuable, uh, don't post it on social media. That would be the best advice because it's simply too easy to copy it. Journalists are allowed to air publicly posted photos without permission if it's clear they're a key part of the story. It's called fair use. But this Newton couple says you still got to get the story right. Fortunately, it was a harmless story, but that was the big thing is that you're just lying. You took something that's not yours without asking, and then you created a lie and promoted it for your own benefit. As NFL camp begins, Boston Sports Mike still has that tweet, and those those two Cam Newton pictures pinned to the top of the page. In Noon and Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. Coming up.